So from tax scams to tax mistakes, TurboTax is backtracking tonight, admitting it made a mistake when it forced returning customers to pay 50% more for their tax preparation software. Well, starting today, TurboTax actually issuing a $25 refund to those customers. And for those of you who are doing your own taxes on your own this year, we have got some advice on choosing the best software. John Gregory is here with us. He's a tax practitioner, enrolled agent with the IRS and he also founded 1040Return.com. Um, are you happy with this? I mean, $25 back, is that enough? Well, I think TurboTax really did shoot themselves in the foot on that one. But they did do a good job by um, retracting the statement and then giving people $25. And I think their lesson has been learned from this. Yeah, I agree. And full disclosure, I use TurboTax, and part of it is... You know, everything rolls over year to year. It makes it very simple. So while maybe they shot themselves in the foot, people like me are too lazy to go try something else. So we'll see if their clients return. But presuming I want to go somewhere else, what's the first thing you look for? Uh, well, that's a good question. Uh, the first thing, if I was looking for a tax software, and the way we designed a 10 for the return was, is very much this way. First thing you want to look for is that can you use it for free, first off? A lot of tax software, you can start the whole tax return, and you get to the point, they tell you the refund amount, but you can never see the 1040 return so to true. see if you actually filled it out correctly. And that's very frustrating because you don't know if you missed something. Right. And uh, that's why we at 1040 return made sure you can actually view the tax return. And the second thing I think is important for people to do, remember when they're looking for a tax software, uh, what type of help do they have? For instance, on 1040 return, we have how-to videos on how to complete a uh, tax return. Probably the biggest thorn with people right now is the Affordable Health Care Act. Oh, yeah. And that's a new wrinkle in the tax preparation business, and people don't know how to fill that out. But you want to look for videos showing you how to do that on your tax return, which think, you actually provide. I think it's more than a wrinkle, quite frankly. And you make some great points. The notion that you should be able to see your return, make sure the numbers land on the lines where they're supposed to. Even if you've never filled out a tax return before, you know that your capital gains rate should be on the line that says capital gains. You should be able to see it. As far as the live help, it's, it's a great point. And it can be all different ways, right? It can be over the phone. You can do live chats. I mean, really, whatever works for you. You just need to find the system that does. Yeah, I, as far as you, if you get stuck on your tax return and you need to contact somebody, yes, support is always important. Uh, most people can always usually resolve them with an email uh, to support. They can also do chat etc. But another thing you want to look at when you do a tax return with special online software, see if they have, as you go through the forms, you want to see if they have help buttons off to the side. Mm -hmm. So if you get stuck on a particular area that you can look at that and you can answer your own question before you even have to reach out to tech support. That's a great point. So and also, are, I think it depends too on how you like to do, if you know enough to do your return, you don't need the hand-holding. I've done tax returns before and I still like the hand-holding. So I choose the programs that ask me a thousand and one questions, but I'm okay with that because then you know you get everything in. They're all pretty much up to date at this point, right? I mean, I don't have to worry about going out there, finding a uh, prep uh, software that is not going to up to date itself uh, throughout the tax season, right? Well, yes. What kind of, I'm not a big fan of desktop uh, tax software because you see in the big box stores in December yeah, and you load true. it onto your PC. And you know, you know all the forms are not there to begin with. So in January, you start your tax return. And unless you have a good high-speed internet connection, it may take a while for them to update all the information on your desktop. That's well, a good point. on the other hand, if you go to online filing, you don't have to worry about operating systems because all you have to have to do is have a current browser and you can and the software is always updated yeah. all the time. So you don't have to have that. You don't have to think like, oh, did I update the software last night before I started right. my tax return? Right, it's a return? great point. And the beauty of doing it on the web is you can pick it up from anywhere and electronically file because then all the silly mistakes are cleared even before you file your return. John, thanks so much for your insight on all this. Oh, Tracy, one quick thing. I want to make a value statement for your clients. 
Um, uh, we would like to give everybody a viewing audience 50% off with promotion code <laughs> 1234 by using 1040 return. Excellent. So you're welcome. Thank you so very <laughs> right, much. And the viewers, thank you as well, John. Thanks so much.